Hello and welcome to the What Northern Ireland Means to Me podcast, presented by me, Julia Paul. This series has been produced by Shared Future News to mark the centenary of Northern Ireland and is funded by the Heritage Fund on behalf of the Northern Ireland office. Shared Future News provides information and personal stories on the topics of peace building, reconciliation and diversity to a Northern Ireland audience and beyond. In this episode, we meet William Redpath, who's a business owner and community worker, to hear what Northern Ireland means to him. My association with Northern Ireland is very much here, someone that's born here, someone that believes in this place, someone that believes in the possibility and the opportunity that exists here. And I think that also someone that feels like we all have a role to play in terms of peace, in terms of our own communities, and that manifest itself in lots of different ways but i really believe that we all have that kind of civic responsibility i think to get involved in our communities and that's really something that i try to do and try to live each day part of the work that i do is trying to create things and opportunities for people to stay here get involved here and do more things When you speak to people about why they leave Northern Ireland, often they talk about opportunity or social views, this type of thing. But actually, it's more about a vibe that people have about living here and what that means. And sometimes that's to do with coming from a small place. So a lot of the work that I am involved in through organizations like Young Influencers, Global Shapers, Junior Chamber International, is all about trying to create spaces for like-minded people to come together, people who are positive, upbeat, and want to make a difference in their community. And that might look like organizing a community project, getting involved in homelessness relief campaign, getting involved in charity work, or even creating businesses and startups. You're almost trying to create a place and a state of mind which tries to encourage people to stay in Northern Ireland. Reading some of John Hewitt's poetry has had a profound impact on me in terms of thinking about my identity, thinking about regionalism as a concept, how we can be at one time from Ulster, be a planter, be from the island of Ireland and be a European citizen. I'd never before read or heard it articulated in that way. It helped me understand what my role was in the society that I could articulate with confidence. So whenever I started reading some of his poems, like Once Alien Here, The Colonist, it really affected me in that way. And I think words do have that power. They can be so influential with people and getting involved within the work of the John Hewitt Society as well. It's been great. I think that in all the time I've lived here for nearly 32 years, I've never felt such a strong sense of energy, hope and optimism around. Of course, we can be worn down and we can listen to the noise and the hype. But actually, when we get into the real nitty gritty of what's going on in local communities, whether it's someone working in parts of Belfast, they're doing great work across the divide in a traditional sense, or young people getting up, starting businesses, starting projects, um, doing positive things in their community, organizing a music festival, all these things just add into the whole fabric and the tapestry of our society and just give us so much hope and optimism for the future. And all that stuff is happening now. So I think there's lots of reasons to be cheerful. What Northern Ireland Means to Me is produced by Shared Future News. Our staff include Alan Leonard, Alan Mabin and Julia Paul. Our theme song is Figure in the Fog by Jordan McMurray, with thanks to Music Paths. This and other episodes with transcripts are available at the Shared Future News website, sharedfuture.news. You can also follow us on Facebook at Shared Future News and Twitter at Shared Future. If you would like to suggest someone for a future episode of What Northern Ireland Means to Me, please email us at editor at sharedfuture.news. Thanks for listening. Mm-hmm.